Okay, YouTubers, here's my latest X5 problem. It's on a 2004 BMW X5. 110,000 miles on it. It's 2020, so this thing's now 16 years old, believe it or not. Still uh, love the car. But I see why people have a hard time buying these things, because when something like this happens, it's really expensive to take to a dealer and fix it. Here's a cheaper way to fix it. So here's the problem. Okay, the key's on. Here's my hazard. Hazard doesn't work. Key's in number two position. Turn signals do nothing. Headlights don't respond. They just do that. And even when you take the key out, put the key away, Look, that one light stays on. And sometimes I got a backlight here that's on, but now they're, but before, yeah, this light was on. Sometimes this one's on. The side marker light was sometimes on. But anyways, now it's just that one headlight stays on. So what it is, is your light control module. And to get to that, to one of these tools and I already popped this off earlier to see what was wrong with it but you pry this off it'll usually these pins usually stay in the car like that and I just got it barely set in there but, but you would pop that out might be handy to buy a few more of those I'm not sure the part number and then you'll put, take the screws and out of this piece, drop it down, take the light off, get it out of the way. And then same thing, you'll pop this off because it's held in by these two pins, uh, which I broke one of those already, so but I got a bunch of those on hand. If you ever need to order them, there's the uh, genuine BMW part number. They're like a buck each. You always take that off and pull this carpet back and I already took this out, but it's two eight millimeter screws. Hold that up there. The top one is way up there, but you can just loosen it, take the bottom one out, and that'll allow you to pull this thing down and slide it all the way out. So that's your light control module. Part number for that is right there. It's the 61356938287. Then, uh, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but these, you can see it, it slides, this one slides that way. And, let's see if I can do this. Nope, I'm going to have to pause. Yeah, it definitely takes two hands. So as you slide that up and wiggle it, and this will come out. Same with this one, except it goes down in this position. Sometimes wedging a screwdriver in there will help you get that in a full down position. But yeah, then it... It pops off. And this one, like most BMW things, hold this, push this down while rotating this back towards it. It's really hard to do with one hand. There it goes. Once you rotate that, pops right up. There you go. That one's out. Let's put the other one in. Okay, the new one's back in. Let's see. No lights on up front. Side marker light is not on. No tail lights. Then the ultimate test. Keys on. Yep, that's working again. Switch this test that off. Parking lights on. 
All right, back in business. And I said, uh, I said I put a new one in. It's not new. You can get them off eBay. In fact, I bought a spare. So this is my old one. There's one spare. Another one's in the car. eBay, they're fifty to seventy-five dollars. Brand new. You're looking at seven hundred and fifty-eight dollars or somewhere in there. So definitely go use. All right, I hope that helps someone. Thank you. A couple of side notes is I think my light control module went bad when the windshield was replaced many years ago and they managed to pinch the hose that the sunroof drains and uh, that caused my glove box to fill with water, not once but twice. So there was some corrosion on the wiring, but uh, cleaning off that corrosion did not make the light control module work. And then the other thing is your car keeps track of its mileage in two places. I think the onboard computer is one place. The other place is the light control module. And when the two don't match, you'll get a little red light on your dash saying the mile's been tampered with. But your mileage still works.